Hello everyone and uh, welcome to a new series I'm starting called The Village or another colony I'm going to be building this will not be me building start working on villages based off of certain nether based structure nether worlds such as this one. Oh my god encoding overload I don't even know what that is but I've already started on this one and as you can see there is we have most of the structures complete so, in a village, I believe that there's certain items that you have to have, such as a village, and such as, I don't, I mean like a blacksmith isn't necessary, but I like having one. Then we have to have houses, which we've designed here, right? Look at this, look how pretty this is, look how, oh, look how cute they are. And then we also have, we also have this house here, which is also quite nice. So, uh, yes, we're actually going to expand our the village, this village today, and we're going to build different villages. Ow, I cut my I hit my leg. Build different houses based on different village designs. And there's like a village over there, so that's fun. We'll eventually destroy it, I guess. So uh yeah, so what we're gonna build is that we're gonna use see this pallet? That's what we're gonna build. We're also gonna build nether villages nether villages. Which so that will be fun. So what we're gonna do first is that what we're gonna make we gotta make a crop field for it so we need to figure out what would be the most logical thing for a crop in, the, in this area hmm I'm feeling like um some way also we're gonna use polished basalt on the edges cause it looks pretty and actually polished blackstone brick wall yeah that's perfect now we need seed. So I'm thinking we're gonna go with no potato um, carrots, because you can make golden carrots, so that would make sense because it's nether themed. And now we're also going to need a composter. Th this is just to make the village actually work. Th that's the only reason we're actually doing this. Oh my goodness, a piglin! Oh, I thought there no villager. No, don't even think about it. No. Okay, so what we're going to make is now we're going to make a farm. Oh, wait, no. Farm. Look at that. You can actually just do this. So what we're going to make is that we're going to make a farm over here. I think we'll make it so that it'll look like it's coming off the cliff like this. So we're going to... Oh, for God's sake. So what we're going to do is that we're going to put this at the edges of it. Like here. And then we won't have one in this corner. We'll just... We'll just tear apart this or something. We have to tear about quite a bit of rock to make this work. And there we go. Like that. Yeah, we're not going to move that up one. Then we're going to put farmland. I'm going to put water. This is just so the f crops will grow. We're actually going to hide it. Like this. Like that, and then we're gonna connect all these up. Then we're gonna, every, I guess, we'll just fill up the ground here with a little bit of water. You won't be able to see this, so it doesn't really matter as much. So I don't know why it's not giving, making it. Oh, there's some water spot. Do I have to have some of it showing or something? That's annoying. I guess I'll have to put the water down. Let's just put like small pops of water. Like this. Like this is gonna look nice. I'm gonna grow all these plants. We're going to actually replace some of this dirt with coarse dirt. Because I think that wouldn't kind of make sense because it's we're in a desert. So yeah, we're going to actually replace some of this dirt with coarse dirt. Like that. Now what we're going to do is that we're going to put coarse dirt in this one. We're just going to do this randomly like that like there and then there now we need to get pick block we're gonna actually put some dead bushes on these then we're gonna just put a little pile of 
coarse dirt out here. Like that. There we are, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually place a little um, one over here and one over here. And then we're gonna put our composter down about there, and then we're gonna put put some carrots down. And also, what other plants should we do? Food stuffs. Let's go with some potatoes. Potatoes. Where are the potatoes at? Look. There's a potato. And then, let's, nah, no beetroots. Now, the villagers will have to breed themselves, but we're going to give them something to start with by doing this. So, what my goal is to make every single one of these villages actual function. Like, every single village will have a function, will be functioning. So, we'll have, so they will have food, they will have water. All the things a normal Minecraft village needs will actually be in this. Let's actually place some more coarse dirt, because that makes sense. Like this, we'll actually cover up. So this will make it look like it's a, a small area, guys, of a coarse dirt by like um coarse farm. This will actually change kind of how the uh, farm feels. It feels like it's like a, one of the few tr areas of gra where grass would grow. We'll put some a uh, path block down actually. Path. There you are, path blocks, because I think those actually make good, like, wasteland. There we go. Like that. There we go. And now, these guys will eventually go to their houses. Like him, he sells stone pickaxes, which is kind of nice. So there we go. There's our little farm. And now we'll add some torches. I think we'll go soul torch, actually. Because it kind of makes cool... It kind of looks nice based on this theme. And then, um... I'm gonna... I'll be back with you in a bit once ever this is done. And we're back from working on the uh, farmhouse. And, of course, it says the overload. But we're back. I'm working on the farmhouse. And this is the farmhouse. So I used a simple process of these... Uh, of these walls because they're fantastic and then I use slabs in the roof for the fall and it makes it much prettier then I put in these crimson doors and add a whole bunch of beds this is pretty much just for a you know like work purposes come on hey guys there's plenty of beds now I gave you a whole bunch of bread I gave these guys plenty of bread so they should breed eventually but I can't tell hey plenty of beds over there buddy plenty of beds okay maybe I have to trade with them M just click, there you go, emeralds. Here, okay, what do you want to buy? You want stone tools? Yay. Wow, fancy. Oh, everyone's up leveling up. Fancy. Now they'll maybe breed? Let's just get a whole bunch of iron. Cause this is cheaper. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Now we do this. So this will get them. So and then I guess this. Also, this is fan fancy. Too much experience points for no reason. <laughs> now we clean out the inventory. So will these guys breed? Okay, that's a glitch. Nope. Hey, breed. I have to get a new villager or something. There. Put you all by composter now, won't I? Take your job, pick a job. Oh, I gotta cover that up. Take block. Fancy. I'm going to remove that. 
they don't climb up any higher on this. Please stop jumping. You're gonna crush your own food. You're gonna you're gonna crush the crops, idiot. Because they keep climbing on top of it. Hey, how about this, punk? Take the job so you stop crushing your food. They need to make it so villagers can hold their own grounds. Hold the grass or something. Ugh. So you can get this done. There. That's cool. You can actually um hoe coarse dirt. To make it uh, normal dirt. It's cool. I did not know that. Hey, hey, become a farmer. Oh my goodness. Freaking netherite sword. No. Ah. Dang it. Freaking destroying your own crops. Stop it. There. Now, Bill. And ho, not even creative mode do you waste your diamonds on a hoe. Okay, now take your job. Pick block. Now will you become a farmer or will you figure out? See, now, if you don't pick your job, okay, thank you for picking a job. Now let me add two. Now that they will farm, now we have a functioning village one, and that looks attractive. Please stop climbing. Please don't jump. Oh, let's just plant some more carrots. Okay, then. So we have to figure out now you guys can breed, right? Okay, let them do that. See if they understand it. Once we get an iron golem spawn and we know this is a, a legit villain. Stop jumping on your crops, you guys. Jeez. Idiots? Nice. They're like, let's get on our crops. Yeah. Yes, now that they figured that out, now this village looks functioning, but it doesn't see act functioning. Let's actually remove these pillars because. Okay. There. So they'll stop freaking trampling their own crops. Stop trampling your food. There, let's see how these guys are hanging. They're surviving pretty well, I guess. That's good, that's good. Mm hmm. Now, because this is now, because we, I think this would be considered a functioning village, because it's got a house. Now we're going to start working on the decorational blocks, which actually do exist. Since this is a mesa, we're going to actually get some gold ore. Okay, then we're going to get a. I am. Um, I think we you can use these. I think trapdoors make. No, it's rails. Rail. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is that we're going to build, get a debug stick as well, because you can actually use those. Wait, no, no. Give. Debug stick. There we go. So now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna make. A, oh wait, we need a. Let's go with the slab. Petrified oak slab. What? Petrified oak slab. Oak slab. Petr What's a petrified oak slab? What? A petrified oak. Oak slab. Well, that's weird.
I guess we're gonna have to do it like this. Oh, I know. We can make it look like it's like a, like a table. There you go. We're gonna build this. Like that. Pile on some gold ore. That's very bright. I know it has some of my highlight around it. I'll rem I guess I can get rid of that. I'll get rid of that texture pack for now. Done. Here we go. go. Here you are. It will look better. It will look different now. So, uh, what village name I'm gonna give it? I think I will call it the Nether Village. And then we'll build lots of different types of villages in this game as well. Okay, let's wait for this to load. There we are. Well, that was lag. Let's just put this on randomly and then now with this we can make a debug you can use a debug stick I think I don't know what a petrified oak slab is but I kind of want to want to know tell me if you guys know what a petrified oak slab is so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna make two wraparounds actually like this What happens in Oh look. Oh that's cool. So you can use a debug stick to do stuff like that, which is what I was hoping I could do. Can I put this on a rail? Okay. So there we go. Let's add what's add a nope. There's our thingy. Let's actually add another one there so it looks like it's a bit more gold. There we go. There's our gold. And me make it. There we are. It's strapped down. There we are. This is perfect. Let's actually maybe add one, two more. Yeah, we'll strap it down even harder on the floor. Like that. Which one in? Oh, crap. Oh, they're breeding. Oh, cute. Now that we've got that made, they've got little Timmy. Hey, don't run off. Don't run off. This is your home. A little Timmy. Look at Timmy. Look at all this gold. We need a. You know what? I'm surprised I haven't done this yet, but we need to make a smeltery. Right? I mean, like, it makes sense. Why don't we have a smeltery yet? Perfect. And also, this, there will be chain locks involved in this smeltery. So, the smeltery, I think what we'll put do is we'll put the smelting area, like, here. So, we'll put it, nah, that's too close to the farm. We'll put it here. So what we're going to do is that we're going to make a 10, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now I know this looks crazy, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So what this is actually doing, and actually we need a blast furnace. This is going to be, uh, glob's sake. Air. Blast furnace, blast furnace, blast furnace, blast. Just three blast furnaces tall. Then we're going to shift. Yeah, we'll keep those here. Actually, we'll extend, put it out by one. At least I can stand here now. Boom. Now, 
I'm gonna put a thingy here. I'm gonna go with a soul fire campfire for no reason. Now it's got steam pumping out of it, and I think with a debug book slash debug game give presentation with D. I think a debug stick actually you can actually use it to light these. Come on. Okay, so I can't make it so it's perma light lit. Now we're gonna make it about that tall. Like that. And then we're going to get any blackstone. Oh my. Oh wait, wait. We don't even have blackstone blocks? What? I guess I'll have to go over here. Perfect. Now these are blackstone bricks. And we're gonna make it go about four block three blocks over. Not three blocks, because that's wit encroaching and then and then not encroaching upon this, so we're actually so we're gonna make it four blocks high. This is a very large structure because of its theme. And then it's gonna have polished blackstone walls like that. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot. It needs to be cut down by one. There we go. One more up, and then we'll put a slab there. I know this is, so it's gonna look nice. Now we're gonna go four forward. One, two, three. One, two, three. I think three is actually good. Yeah, three is nice. We're actually gonna remove this floor. This floor will be turned into a normal basalt. And four. Put these in. Also guys, this is um, one of the best things about new wax. There we are. Now we can slab, put some slabs up there. There we are. There we go. Now we'll put some like that. And this is what it's going to be. So now we're going to use basalt like that as the floor. Like this. There we go. Then we're going to place, since those are there, we're going to use our, like this, and then we're going to put these blackstone walls. This room won't have a door on it. This ba building won't have a door. But it will, a black, some, this won't have, wow, I'm, I'm actually lacking this one. And then we're going to place these, like that. Let me finish up this structure, and then you will see it, and it will be fantastic. There we go, guys. Look at this thing. This, this is a cool looking foundry, if you ask me, which we are going to actually do this on the front, like this, and that, oh wait, hold up. And I could, if I could figure out how command blocks work, which would be cool, I could say, make it so that there were uh, constant streams of, uh, so there could be constant streams of, uh, like, smoke coming off of these. Which, which make it only, ah! Make it like this. There we are. So, uh, guys, now we're back. I just gotta place these. So these are gonna be like chimneys. Stupid obs. Just like there we are. Now we're also gonna put these up a little higher. There we go. Now this is one heck of a foundry, if you ask me. And so, in this village, we have a, a blacksmith. The bell. This area, I don't know what this is. I don't know what I made here. Then we have our foundry. Dun, dun. This thing's cool. And then we have our beautiful farm, which I think I want to add some soul torches around it. 
Damn, there goes that water. I gotta pick block. Ah! This is not good. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's actually cool. There we are. So guys, now we're gonna do a time lapse of the village. Uh, a really cool time lapse of the village, and it's gonna be really nice. So I'm gonna press F1. There we are. Okay. Funk. <laughs> yeah, that's super cool. Yep. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a good position, and now. We start filming. Now we start uh, this time lapse. Hope you guys enjoy this cute little time lapse. Hold up! I just remembered, guys. I just did something stupid. Uh, let me see. Um. So uh, what we're, I'm actually gonna change up is that. I think we should have. We I forgot to add the lights. So what we're gonna have is we're gonna have polished blackstone stairs, well walls. We're gonna have polished these, and then we're gonna have a shroom light. No, not shroom light. Uh, lan um, soul. There we are. Soul lantern. So we're gonna put those just around the village. We're gonna put them just like one, two, and then a lantern on top. One, two, lantern on top. One, two, lantern. Mm -hmm. There we are. Now that's. And there we go. We'll put a soul fire lantern here, too. I think um, the best location for the village to look is about there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start the time lapse in a second, guys. <laughs> 